Hello and welcome. So we have started a new series uh, for the KAIST scholarship for undergraduate uh, degree programs or you can say KAIST undergraduate scholarship and uh, we have discussed uh, the basic requirements, eligibility and the scholarship amount for this KAIST undergraduate scholarship in our previous video. So if you do not know about the requirements or documents required or uh, you want to know about the scholarship amount, so you should go uh, to the previous video and watch that one first. So after that you can uh, start your process. In this video I will give you the uh, basic idea that how you can create your profile there or how actually you can start your application. One thing you should remember uh, that uh, this all application process is online. They have clearly mentioned that you will fill this application form online Right and then you will submit your application fees after submitting your application fees uh, Your recommender or your teacher will get an email. You will provide email for your teacher He will get email and he will get a website link. He will click that link and he can uh, Upload or he can fill the recommendation letter so in this video we will create or we will see how to create the um, application profile or candidate profile so this link i will share uh, below in the description of this video uh, so that you can easily click here and you can go you can click here on go uh, apply for the 2022 early admissions click this one you can see admission deadline is october 22nd so here is the login portal if you have already created your uh, profile you can log in here with your email and uh, password but uh, because we are new here so we will create a profile uh, we will click apply and create so here you can select spring uh, only for early track and fall for early track right uh, spring means that you want to join in the march and fall means you want to start your degree in uh, September if your result is expected uh, before the or within the February 2022 you can select spring if your uh, result is expected before August or within August 2022 uh, then also you can select this fall right uh, for fall you need a result in August 2022 uh, and for spring season or March intake you can select February 2022 all uh, right uh, so i'm selecting spring because i want to for example uh, uh, join in the uh, march session and then we will go to the uh, this and below we will read the all the details about this one i have explained in the video previous video and you can still read it here the deadline here is the October 22nd for uh, 2021 for uh, this session spring if I select fall then maybe uh, this will change but uh, it's not changing here so it is okay I'm just selecting spring and uh, go to apply right click ok and they will um, open a new link for you so here you just uh, you do not need to read this one just click agree or if you want to read you can read it agree and agree all or you can directly click agree all uh, application so click on the application and you will move to the step one here you will provide your name last name for example your name is Muhammad Ali Khan so you will write here Khan and here you will write Muhammad Ali right here click here and upload the photograph uh, for the photograph maybe you need to find in the Google if your profile if your uh, photograph is not uploading here you should Google it why uh, it is not uploading or how to change this photograph to the 1 MB create your password uh, for the future use and save it somewhere uh, confirm your password again write the password and nationality is Pakistan so Pakistan select gender a male or female date of birth for example you were born on uh, 2001 uh, February uh, 15th and place of birth you can write your uh, 
city name for example you are from Karachi or whatever is city name foreign registration number it's not for you passport number if you have passport you can write it here and uh, if you have uh, leave it blank because this foreign registration number is for Korea so you do not have this one postal address is uh, the address for your uh, post office if they want to send some document through the post office uh, how, uh, what they should write L like you can write your st house number street number block number and the post office or city uh, or town and then the uh, uh, province or state and the country email address you should write for example for example uh, Muhammad Ali is the name so M A L I K H A N right uh, Muhammad Ali Khan at the rate for this one we will go to uh, this uh, drop down menu and select Gmail so this they will create with the Gmail and then plus 92 because I selected the nationality so they are already taking it and plus 92 you can write your phone number for example 3333 uh, uh, three, three, three and 123 for something whatever is your phone number uh, you can write the same here or you can write different if you have different different phone so better to write the same here guardians information guardian means your father's information your ma or, or if your father is not your guardian um, in any case then you can write your mother's name or yeah, you can write your elder brother's name or uh, your uncle's name uh, his uh, uh, relationship if he is father uh, you can write son and nephew or son or brother whatever postal address for similarly uh, you can write your address or your guardian's address um, whoever is your guardian his phone number okay so nine two and something one two three four five six seven whatever and select the major here uh, if you want to apply for example for the chemistry and save and continue because i haven't uploaded the photo it will not move to the next so if you will upload photo it will move to the next and next and next so it is very simple very easy you can click next next text and uh, it will move uh, so this form will be uh, more likely this one uh, the sample is given so next they will ask that when you will graduate already graduate if you have already uh, like completed your degree you can click this one otherwise write the date or you can write the uh, like expected date and uh, enrollment when you want to enroll when you want to start if you want to start march 2022 then write spring 2022 and if you want to join or start your degree in uh, september 2022 select the fall semester this address telephone number already you have provided guardians details and field of interest so after that it will ask for the high school name and uh, you should write like uh, your 12th standard school or the school name where you were student as a 12th standard student or class uh, so mostly in Pakistan it is a, a, a college name so ARF college uh, and uh, city name and uh, state or uh, province and then country for example Pakistan right Pakistan uh, high school postal address you can write simply the same here or you can even mention if there is any block or town within this zip code you can find for your city if uh, and city name and country name official uh, internet website if they have website for example if it is a Punjab college then they have website you can mention it here and graduation date uh, what is the expected graduation date if you have already graduated for example you got your uh, result on 25th of August 2000 and 21 then you can write otherwise if your uh, uh, result is expected in uh, January 2022 uh, you can write it here it's here is the mo most important thing that recommenders information uh, teacher mean who will write the recommendation letter or letter for you uh, so name his name full name uh, teachers name school name or college name and position if it is he is lecturer or principal or whatever or teacher postal address uh, the similar uh, just you can write his uh, college name and city and country city name and then country name and his email address this is a must you should uh, get email address from your teacher or principal and ask them that you want 
to add him as a uh, recommender for the KAIST admissions then definitely he will provide you the phone number and email address here academics details are required so uh, they ask you to write in chronological uh, order chronological order mean that the first school second school for example you were a uh, student at one school from class 1 to class 5 so it is not necessary that you mention all then from 5 class to class 8 then 9th and 10th and then 11th and 12th standard so you can write in this fashion the old one then the the recent one will be in the last mean recent one mean the last school you have um, studied in uh, or the 12th standard you completed in a school so you will write it here uh, if you, has your schooling been interrupted during the last six years uh, if you have some gap in your education from for example matric to FSE or after FSE you can select yes otherwise select no if yes then you can write the date to date from to two and why why maybe you were um, maybe you had some family problem or health problems so maybe whatsoever whatever was the reason you can mention it here if it was then english proficiency uh, proficiency test in the first video i told you that english proficiency certificate IELTS or TOEIC is not compulsory you can only get the english uh, uh, medium uh, high school certificate or english proficiency school uh, sorry english proficiency certificate from your school so they will write a letter for five or six lines that uh, your medium of instruction and your exam and your books were in english so you can uh, read listen and speak english very well extracurricular activity you can mention if you were uh, part of any team sports team or you have participated in any competition uh, speech or whatever was quiz or something work experience mostly students don't have work experience at at this level after 12th class so leave it empty uh, so scholastic aptitude test if you have appeared in sat reasoning test it is international test but most of the student will not have any test here a b or these these international Olympiad or national exam uh, for the national exam you can maybe write uh, for example you were uh, you ha have cleared the um, engineering uh, test for the admission to the engineering university or medical university or college so you can write the name of the test mdcat or ecat and score earned over full marks for example you got uh, 250 over 400 for ecat and the test date you can write year and months uh, for example it was 2021 and it was august so 08 this kind of uh, so you can write ecat uet lahore so this is this is kind of uh, test we have for engineering universities in punjab in pakistan honors and award if you have any award or certificate or uh, honors you can mention the, the details issuing institute name explanation awards and then the writing so you need more time for this one describe your dream and the effort you have made so far to achieve it and your future plan for it so you need help from some elders or uh, the siblings or your parents parents that they can help you to write this in uh, 300 words so your motivation uh, your hard work and your future plans and a personal statement with a focus on what you have learned from and felt during curricular extracurricular activities again your elders or your parents will help this to write in 200 words and the third question uh, uh, cite any cases in which you thought are made attempts in ways different from those of the other describe how much ideas uh, you can give the example of your um, sports team or you can do something or you can mention you did something uh, different to prepare the test or you can uh, mention uh, something about uh, your studies that you went from home to uh, a school where you were uh, living there and in a hostel and uh, you were uh, working hard or something uh, and the next one is the uh, consideration sharing cooperation conflict management and describe what you learn from the and felt during so they want to know actually how adaptive you are and how you can adopt the new environment and how you can live with the 
uh, new people or people from different cultures so uh, past uh, write the positive words here uh, show you are a team member and you work in a team and you uh, collaborate and cooperate with the others and if you have any conflict you, you uh, stay calm and uh, you do not take the uh, immediate uh, decisions so if you you can write there is any other information you would like to share then you can write it here and applicant signature and date so this is will be the kind of online application form that you will fill here in the next phase 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 and then they will ask you for uh, document submission or upload your documents so this was the application procedure on the application uh, or the all the application processes online after submitting this application you will get a voucher you will uh, or you will submit the application fees uh, after paying uh, this application fees you cannot add it your uh, this application or online application so before uh, paying your fees or admission fees or application fees you make sure that every information you have provided is correct and uh, whatever you want to add it do it before paying your application fees thank you so much uh, so in next video we will see that how your recommender can write your recommendation letter or what is asked in the recommendation letter for you